Hello, and welcome to this Creative Music App Workshop. My name's Sam, and I'm here to show you how you can create your own music just using a smartphone or a tablet. In this video, we're going to take a look at the app Auxy. Auxy lets us create our own loops of music, drums, instruments, melodies, and then arrange them into a full song. This app is only available for iOS, so if you're an Android user, just skip to the next video or take a look at the video about Medley, which does a similar thing. Okay, let's get started. Have fun. So let's take a look at the app Auxy. Auxy is only available for iOS, so you can only use this on an iPad or your iPhone. To get the app, go to the App Store, search for Auxy, and make sure you get Auxy Jam Simple Beat Maker, not Auxy Pro. We want Auxy Jam Simple Beat Maker, and then download the app. When you open the app, you're just going to see a really simple page like this with lots of grey rectangles and some words at the top here. So our first column of tiles represents our drums. Dynamite drums, as it says at the top here. So if I click this square, it's going to pull up more squares and a line going across. Now this is my grid for creating my drum beat. I have the kick sounds at the bottom. That's the lowest sound in the drum kit. Doof, the low one. There it is. Then I have snares up here. That's the crunchy part. There we go. And then there's the hi-hats, which are nice tight symbols that go over the top like that. And then you have some extra stuff at the top here. So try to create your drum beat. Remember to keep things simple. If you fill up all of these squares and colour them all in, it's probably not going to sound great. I do quite like that. Maybe start with your kick drum and put it every four tiles. That creates a nice pulsing kick drum pattern for the rest of the music to go over. And then I've got my snares half as much and then the hi-hats going quite frequently in a repeating pattern. Lighter tile, miss one, light one, miss one, light one. And then I've thrown in some other bits that I like the sound of. Okay, so when we're happy with our drum beat, you've got to press done in the top right. And we can move on to the bass line. This will carry on playing. And we can click another tile to bring up the bass line. Now the lowest notes of my bass line are at the bottom of the screen. That's very low. And the highest ones are all the way up here. So we've got to come up with a lovely bass line that goes with our drum beat. That's my bass line. When I'm happy with that, I can press done and I can move on to my next sound. This one is a synthesizer. Now I'm using chords for this one. I'm lighting up lots of tiles that happen at the same time in a line. And that gives me a nice big thick sound because I have lots of notes at the same time. Lovely. So, so far you should have a drum beat, a bass line going, and some chords. Next is our melody, a tune, one note at a time that creates a little tune over the top of the music. That sounds good to me. So have an experiment coming up with at least one of these tiles for each sound that we have, the drums, the bass, the pad and the lead. If you want to change these sounds, you can just click the name at the top here and experiment with some of the others. Different drum kit, a different bass sound, some different chord sounds here, and a different sound for my melody too. That sounds better to me. Okay. 
you know, when we're happy with this, we have to create another section for our music. Music would be very boring if it was just the same thing over and over again. So we have to create a, another section for our music that sounds different. So you can stop your loops by pressing the square at the top of each row. And we can try and make something that sounds a bit different. So I'm going to make a beat that sounds different now. I'm going to put my kicks in a different place to before. And I'm going to put in some hi-hats all the way through this one, I think. Okay, that'll do for now. So now I can change between my two drum patterns by just clicking them. Here's my new one. Let's see what that sounds like with my bass line by bringing the bass line back in. Hmm. Gonna change this sound, I think. Nice. Okay, now I'm gonna create a new bass line that sounds different from this one. So ways we can make things sound different is more notes, less notes, and notes in different places. I've got something much simpler here. I'm just gonna light up a few tiles here. Okay, so now I've got a different section here. I can change between my two parts by pressing the four squares that I want to play. Now I can swap between this and my, my new part. And I have two contrasting bits of music now. So what you should try is to come up with a verse and a chorus for your song. The verse is the part that gets us going. It leads up to a big chorus, which is more exciting. It has more sounds in it. This could be my chorus. And then I could bring it down here for my verse. And then when I'm ready, I can bring the chorus back in. Now the possibilities are enormous with this. You can have all sorts of different things going on here and you can pick and change which ones you wanna play, experimenting with different loops of music together. If you get really good at this and you're enjoying it, there are some extra settings you can use too. If you click this one at the bottom here, this symbol just on the left, we got a few things we can change. The tempo, for example. We can really turn that up to make things a lot quicker. So you can slow down or speed up your music using the tempo button. There are a few others you can experiment with there. See if you can figure out the changes that they make to your music. So when you've come up with something that you like, I recommend you perform this for somebody. This is a really great app for performing with because you can physically bring in and out different parts of the music. So rehearse it a few times and when you're ready, for whoever's at home, you can do them a performance of your song with at least two sections using the app Auxy. Good luck.